Greetings, fellow classic TV fans. On January 22nd, 1960, The Hitchhiker made its debut on The Twilight Zone and is often regarded as one of its finest episodes. Interestingly, the original story by Lucille Fletcher first made its debut in 1941 on the Orson Welles radio show. Fletcher is also noted for her 1943 story, Sorry Wrong Number, which was adapted to the big screen in 1948, earning Barbara Stanwyck an Oscar nod. The Hitchhiker was originally written with a male lead, but in an attempt to add dimension to the role of a vulnerable traveler, Rod Serling cast a woman. Having weathered a minor car accident while driving across country, the character of Nan Adams, played by the lovely Inger Stevens, first encounters a hitchhiker. After attempting to ignore him, the man strangely keeps showing up ahead of her on the journey. Eventually, she comes to believe that he intends to harm her, and oddly enough, she can't get help because no one else can actually see him. The twist really hits when Nan tries to call her mother, only to find out she's been hospitalized due to grief, which leads to the perfect Twilight Zone-ish ending. Reportedly, in 1955, Alfred Hitchcock offered to buy the rights to Fletcher's story for his weekly TV series, but was rejected. Coincidentally, the same year this episode aired, Hitchcock released his 1960 masterpiece, Psycho. His film and this Twilight Zone both featured a beautiful, yet vulnerable blonde out on the open road. What's more was that composer Bernard Herrmann created the musical soundtracks for both productions, and he just so happened to be Lucille Fletcher's first husband. Coincidences like this happen, especially in Hollywood, but maybe even more so when you're in the Twilight Zone.